good. <laughs> when you do skulls, one thing you want to remember in the tables, there is a metal bar up here. It's about this thick. It's on every single table. And so if you have the patient's head up here, you're going to have a nice metal bar right at the top of the skull. So you're going to have to repeat it. So when you have your patients on for skulls, you, yep, you want to move them down. Okay. It's in the shape of an R. It's in the shape of an L. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so right marker, I'm going to put it in not right there. Actually, I'm going to put it down the bottom. You're going to have your patient laying on their belly. She's going to turn her head towards me. And remember we talked about having the inner line perpendicular and instead of plane parallel. If you look at her here, she looks like she's this way. So we want to make sure that the inner pupillary line is perpendicular and the mid-sagittal plane is running parallel. So I'm going to turn her just a little bit. It's like a glamour shot. Picture. It is. And it's not comfortable at all. Mm -mm. Okay, so now if you look at her, the inner pupillary line looks perpendicular, mid-sagittal plane is running parallel. Okay? Your centering point is going to be two inches above the EAM. Here's the EAM, so we're going to go two inches above. And what you want to make sure that is you're going to get the entire skull on there. So if I look at the top, the top is going to be on there. I'm going to lean over, sorry, and look at the back. So I have the back of the skull on there. I'm clipping the mandible, but that's okay because we're not looking at mandible. We're looking just at the skull. So there's my right lateral. Okay. The left.